Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's MJ VI96 here with Windows Help Live, and uh, today we got a new tutorial for you guys. Today, I'm gonna show you guys how to make the Sweet Pac-Man logo here, totally from scratch. It's a really quick and easy tutorial for beginners, and um, it's really simple. And I was really pleasantly surprised about uh, how easy it was to make. So anyway, guys, let's get started. It's gonna be a real neat tutorial. So, uh, like I said, let's get started. You're going to start by opening up Photoshop, going File New, 500 pixels by 500 pixels. Alright, once you guys have got that open, what you're going to want to do is we're just going to start with an easy background layer. And we're going to start with a black and blue gradient. And basically, since I said this is going to be a beginner tutorial, I'm going to go through this step by step by step. So what you're going to do, basically, like I said, is you want to make sure that these two colors here are set to black and blue. doesn't matter which order they're in, just black and blue. Next thing you want to do, go down here and grab your gradient tool. What you're going to want to do is hold down shift and drag down for your gradient. Now what we're going to be using is we're going to be using two different filters today to be able to make this. The first filter you want to go to, you want to go to filter, stylize, tiles. Click OK and we come out with this sort of thing right here. Next thing you want to do, basically go to filter, texture, yes, filter, texture, and texturize. Okay. When it pops up with this, we're going to go down to Stylize, click Glowing Edges. That's going to give us the Pac-Man style board that we're looking for. Those easy steps right there already house our Pac-Man board. So that's really easy. Next thing you want to do is just go Layer, New, Layer. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to draw a little Pac-Man guy. You're going to want to make this guy, the first color there, you're going to want to make it yellow. So go in, select any sort of yellow you like a real bright yellow like that. What you're going to want to do is come over to here and click the ellipse tool. You're going to want to drag it and make a really straight circle. Once you've done that, everything should be good. Next thing you want to do now that you've got your circle drawn is go over here and grab the pen tool. Now what you're going to want to do is probably zoom in a little bit. You do that by uh, either clicking the zoom tool over here or using control plus on your keyboard or command plus for using a Mac. Now what you're going to want to do is basically just make a little bit of a triangle here because you're going to want to take out his mouth and you're going to have to be really careful coming across the front because you don't want to miss anything alright now that you got that selected you're going to want to right click and click make selection zero pixels is fine now what you want to do is go backspace and control D. There we go. We've already got the basic layering of our Pac-Man guy drawn. Now because I came out a little bit crooked, we're gonna go ahead and click control T and just rotate him a little bit to make him look a little bit straighter. Once we got him how we want him, he looks pretty good like that. We can go ahead and zoom back out. Now that we've got that done, what we're gonna want to do is he's gonna be the C in our word Pac-Man if you remember from the original thing that I showed you. So we're just going to go ahead and leave him there for a second. Now we're going to go ahead and grab the text tool. And go ahead and type in our P and our A. Now this is a font called Fix Days that I picked out earlier before I started this tutorial. Because I thought it looked pretty good and it looked like something that might be seen in Pac-Man. Now, we, now that we've got it typed, we're going to make it look real nice. And make everything kind of match up together. Things don't have to look so perfect right now, but for now they're okay. Next what we're going to do is come down here and basically just type in the word man. That looks okay. Go ahead and click control T to transform it and we'll scale it right up. Make it look pretty good. Now if you see here that our P and A, and then the actual Pac-Man guy, they're not really matching up. So we're going to go ahead and go to layer 1, which was our original Pac-Man guy, and we're going to click Control-T on him. He needs to be just a little bigger. Looks okay. Now we can go ahead and do the same thing on our P and A. And now everything is looking pretty good. Now basically, this okay looks okay here, but it's still pretty boring. So what we're going to do is go ahead and double click. We'll start with our uh, Pac-Man guy. We want to add some strokes and everything to him, make him look a little better. 
I'm going to go with a blue stroke. Mainly just because I like the blue with the blue background. And I'm going to make it really small. I don't need it to be that noticeable. So that's okay. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and cut, add a drop shadow, an inner shadow, and an outer glow. And I also like to add bevel and boss to everything that I use. Let's add some color here to it. And you can pick any style you like that you think makes the Pac-Man guy just look good. I like that right there. Now he's looking a lot more 3D and a lot more attractive. You can go ahead and do the same thing with the letters. Go back up. Add blue. Down to a one stroke size. Add a drop shadow, inner shadow, outer glow, and that one emboss. That looks really good right there. Go ahead and do the same thing with the word man. Add our stroke. Okay. Drop it down to a one. Add our drop shadow, inner shadow, outer glow, bevel and emboss. Now this thing is really looking good. It's a really easy way to make a professional looking Pac-Man style logo. A lot of people have used it for apps and everything like that who have app designers and app developers who are in the app developing world. Um, for logos, if they have a Pac-Man style game, it looks really good. It's really neat. It's so easy to make. Just those two filters making the board in the back really make it look good. So uh, thanks, guys, for watching. Um, just, just so happy with everybody who's been following us. We're about to reach 100 subscribers. We're going to have our 100 subscriber giveaway. Everything's doing so good. Um, just keep watching the Photoshop tutorials and uh, any type of tutorials. If you have a tutorial you want us to do, just send us a PM and we'll get it up for you. Thanks for watching, guys. Comment, rate, and subscribe.